what is up guys and welcome back to the channel um we're gonna start off with reading arthur's journal and then we'll kind of take it from there um today i might sound slightly different um well, actually, it's the same day that I recorded the previous video. I just got a delivery in between videos. And as you can see, I'm wearing a new headset. We are trying the microphone built into the headset. And I'll explain why. So if you've watched the previous videos, um, my old headset, which is a, a JBL, the it was starting to break down like the sound was crackling and every time i turned up or turned down the volume i would hear these like popping noises and it was like horrific and it would like scare me um so i decided looking at other headsets but i knew we were planning to get the ps5 and the ps5 is not going to be in in this room it's going to be in the main living area. So if I play and film any games on the PS5, I didn't want to have to keep moving my equipment back and forth, back and forth. So I, including the microphone. So what I wanted to do was get a headset with a really, really, really good microphone. So I would only need to move the headset as opposed to headset and a microphone. You know, you know what I'm saying? So when I did research, on headsets with really great microphones um this one came up it is the course a h see oh my god oh my god please don't break hs80 rgb usb um so if you're wondering why i didn't get something like a steel series well you know not all of us are mega rich and also the microphone was not as good as this one which i don't know if i just completely fucked it up because i banged it um i got the usb because call me old-fashioned because i am old-fashioned i won't lie i just don't like the thought of having so many wireless things around me it freaks me out even the controller i have it plugged in i don't use bluetooth because I hate the thought of having so much, so many wireless devices around me. I already have my phone. I already have like the Wi-Fi router thing like right next to my bed. There's like so many things on my desk already. So much technology. I don't need extra like, waves coming through me. Even if they're not technically, even if they don't technically pass through me. Um, this is the first time where I'm wearing them. So it's going to get used. I have to get used to like this gap, this band. It's like, it's really weird. I find it really strange. I decided to go for black, something different because yeah, I have had the white ones for a very long time. Um, I find it weird that I'm wearing black. I will be honest. I don't. We'll see if I can get used to it. Anyways, so I feel they're pretty comfortable. Uh, they might get a little bit tight around my head after a while um where's my volume button i think i can turn it a little bit higher i did a few test tests on the microphone like test recordings and oh you see there i'm controlling it there oh okay so it might change the uh, the volume input on the computer as well so I might be making it louder and softer for you. Interesting. On the JBLs, if I made it louder and softer, it didn't impact the desktop audio. Oh my god, it's these have surround sound. My other ones I don't think had surround sound. It didn't sound surround soundy. Your data ability has improved. Fatal areas will now be highlighted. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was the case already. But okay nice oh i wonder if i need to change any of the sound settings oh they are a bit tight on my head they are a bit tight okay so we're meeting sadie right yep okay let's go meet sadie 
I was meant to go to the theater, which I don't think it seems like it's ever happening. And there's a fence there. Maybe we can go to the fence. Uh, okay. I wonder if I should, you know what? I'm so sorry, Frank. I'm right here. Oh my God. I am gonna go change my horse. I will probably end up finishing. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I have not fed this horse in a very long time. Rude. I think I'm gonna grab the Turkoman. I haven't ridden the Turkoman in a while. This horse got worms or something. Damn, it's skinny. Yeah, I have not. I have not been feeding it. I'm really sorry about that. Turkoman. Sell up. Sure, we'll swap them for you. Okay, great. Um, oh, yeah. Arthur looks good on the Turkoman. I mean, he also looked good on Brutus. Brutus was a bit big. Like, when I was riding him with the rest of the crew, um, I stood out and it looked really awkward. Are we looking for Gavin again? Another guy. Yeah, these head for uh, this headset's gonna give me a massive headache. Woof. And I have a tiny head. Stop! Why are you turning around? Why is everyone yelling at me? Oh, we missed Sadie. Oh. I'm gonna make you sick. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Fuck. <coughs> Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <coughs> Fuck! It's that guy. That guy who coughed in our face. Downs. I I collected the dead from him Nearly there, just around this corner. at the farmstead and he coughed in my face and his wife was now like he's there, sick friend. go on can I help you I need a doctor Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Mm. Come in. <laughs> Where's my friend Mister, with the arm? I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Now look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? Of I mean, course you mean I something. I you because I got a family. I don't mean I nothing. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. I say ah. Ah. Uh. 
What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. What is that? So, uh, back then they just had no, tr they had no treatment for it. And this day, I actually don't know this day and age. Like, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna start crying. What's done? We can only move on. Oh, my God. You have it in you, I can tell. <laughs> We're never going to be with Mary. You only gain benefit from consuming a limited amount of food. <sighs> well, what do you mean? <sighs> what do you mean a limited amount of food? Where's my horse? <coughs> While sick, you will only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount of food or drink. <sighs> Where is my horse? Uh, oh yay, oh yay, look, this one is back. Okay, let's do Sadie and then we'll go back. Okay. Why is it shirt? Oh, there. So I can't eat unlimited amounts of food? That's what it, it was phrased like. I will only gain a benefit from eating limited amounts of food. Or I will only gain a limited amount of benefits from eating food. 
I'm really sick, Sadie. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. We both have Turkomans. Buried them together. Oh, now with this microphone. I don't think it catches when my the squeakiness of my chair. Oh, it does <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. Makes and sense. how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's an exactly island. what we're gonna do. Ooh. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. What? Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. Tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. Oh god, like my him. dead eyes already you gone now. I'm impressed. <sighs> you really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Sorry. Everything's oh, leaking because I'm crying. I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. You go. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy Ooh. woman, Sadie Adler. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah. Well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. What? Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens the above! Vapors. Oh, ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, oh. pull on that rope and hope for the best. Ah. Oh my gosh. You boys have fun. Use RT How to ascend. <laughs> up, up and away. Oh, right. how high do you want Time him to, to go? Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. Okay. We should still have some decent views over the river. Whoa. Now, one hates to be coolest, but on the subject of ablutions, 
Liquids over the side. Solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Whoa. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. How high do you want us to go? Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. Really? It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Is that um, the grey farm? The greys? All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. God, that's really My high. God, yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Sure, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. To, to go Did you through the clouds. In the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Yeah. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. Oh, thank you. I have fun. I'm all right. Thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not. Really? See that building up ahead on the island? That's the I mean, it's a fact was the penitentiary. I don't even know if that saying is real. Fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I am meant to be descending. I can the see the the, the loop. Dear God, the thing is moving, so I can't keep it high for very. Long. Doesn't want me to ascend. Oh my God, the God is right there. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. 
This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That's not him. This was not the tour I had in mind. Nope. That's not him either. There him. him. Yeah, that's him. Yep, yeah, that's him. So that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Don't worry, John. Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. We're coming Butler. for you. Get up. Good Lord. My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <gasps> Ooh, my head I like I need to loosen them but then they're gonna get too big you know it's like this like weird ah there's Annisburg sure good sure. Lord. is that is that Mrs. Adler we're being chased oh my god what are you yes. what the fuck Time happened Pinkertons will oh. there be more trouble sir I expect yep. so I'm starting to rather enjoy this Oh. Do I not have no I scope? Up here. Shit, they're all Driscoll's. Mrs. Amber has a lot to answer for. Yes, she no. does. I think I might need to adjust my feed. Noise. See, luckily I can like move up and down now without it. it Without my microphone. Right Where are you? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh dear, that cold egg feels decidedly scrappled. Wait till I tell Bondasario about this! Come on, Arthur! Let's finish this Yeah, we are. I'm reloading. Most excitement I've had in years. Where are you? Oh, here. You showed him, Mr. Morgan. What plan is this? A bolt action. Oh, it's the only one I have. And what is this one? I guess a repeater. Oh shit, that's the horse. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, I feel so bad! So much collateral damage. Grab the rope, come on! Grab the rope! We're kind of behind her. Yeah, let's go. We don't want to upset your vapors. Oh, I need a. Yeah, look how strong Arthur is. I can carry. Arthur, get me up there. Game over my arm. I can pick up Sadie. Oh no, have we ran out of gas? We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. At least it's in the water. 
Underway. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These oh, goddamn up. And cast Oh, you my god. Just kill these sons of bitches. Oh, my god. Oh god, oh god. Can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got <laughs> Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... What? We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. Yeah. Our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's mm -hmm. gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Mm -hmm. Yes. In the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay, so... Let me pick that up. No one's coming, right? We can... Just loot all these bodies. Oh no, don't eat it. But okay, whatever.
Coming bird sage. I'm sure. Oh, stamina. Okay. We're, we're doing a count stamina, so I don't need to eat it right now. What would be nice is something. Ooh, 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 ooh. For. Um, did I? The herb it can be eaten to a full health core. Okay, okay. Are there more of them? Ooh, Chantaval. Is that the mushroom it says? That wasn't the right... That wasn't the... The, shade, the same mushroom. And I need to go to the post office. Okay, let's loot all these bodies. Because we can! Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we want American ginseng. I think this is the one... What does this one help with again? I can't remember. But we need it for something. I kind of like having the microphone on the headset, to be honest, because I can... Because you know I don't sit still, right? So I can, like, move back and forth, back and forth, without moving uh, closer and farther away from the microphone. Because that was always an issue of mine. Which I think impacted the way I sounded. God, I know I have enough money and I don't need to be looting. But we're gonna... I have so much stuff to sell at the fence. Do I even have enough space in my satchel? All the stuff I'm picking up. I can also donate all of the stuff to the camp. Hey! Get out of here! God, how many O'Driscoll men are there? There are literally so many O'Driscolls. We've killed so many O'Driscolls. Like, we are very small compared to them. We don't have as many men as they do. Oh, why you pick it up? Okay. Okay, my little handsome okay, man. Boy. Oh, yay, boy. Some cheese. Uh, very itchy. Um, let's go. Okay, and there's a fence here. Perfect and schlog. Perfect and schlog. Let's go to the band one. I'm going to. I didn't check. Whoa, that got deep. I'm yeah. so Did I get my perfect rabbit and... Ooh, perfect squirrel? 
Oh no, no, what I actually want is my satchel. Perfect muskrat. What? What? A cold tooth. Um. Uh, would it be in kit? What are the keepsakes? A novel compass. A naval novel. A naval compass belonging to Pearson. Oh, I need to go give this to him. Silver earring. Um. I think a silver earring is what I need for one of the trinkets. So it does not look... Oh yeah, I kept the iguana skins. Mm -mm, I don't have... I don't have my perfect rabbits. There's a stranger. Should we go find the stranger? Okay. Oh, stop! Jeepers! Uh, this is also one of those horses that do not stop. Very quick. Oh, there you are. You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, they're in Butch me. Butch's crit. Butch's crit. Oh, no. Where? Uh, Butch's crit. This is the, the Murphy people, from? I think. Butch's crit. You want me to take you back? Or, they're in uh, me. Uh, well, he come did. Come on, let me get you home. Did they put? Did they make him eat something? Oh, butcher's Creek. Oh no, I don't want to go there. Isn't that where all the Murphy people are? Shh. Shh. Ah, my head hurts. I mean, it's itchy. This guy's freaking me out. Damn it. Oh no. This is not a good idea. We should not be here. This is not them? Or is it Beaver's Hollow? No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these are the Murphy people. Is this the yeah, end? What are you talking about? Distressed. Yeah, he uh. seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel. Sweet Lemuel. Such a nurse, man. Such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. Come on. Get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he's just, he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, <laughs> he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. 
Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. Thank, thank, thank you for lim... Ah, oh, my God! What are you doing? Lemuel! Please, it, please, sir. Ah. Oh. Lemuel is not well, sir. Oh. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. With love, we thank you. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I. Whoa. Oh, wait, sorry. I thought this was a main road. Sounded as if a cow or something was charging me. Yeah. Gobble, 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 gobble. <gasps> oh no! Easy, whoa. Ah, it's not a perfect rabbit. Yeah. Why is it so difficult to find a perfect rabbit and a perfect squirrel? Okay, so... Give me a minute here. Oh, I have bounties I should probably pay. <gasps> Second invitation from the mayor! All right. You look like I feel. <laughs> how's that? Death, or in my case, like dying. Well, how's that for a welcome? I'm sorry. How can I help you? Ooh. But we don't want it so bright. Maybe I just change it like that? I don't know. Monsieur Kilgoy. I could not have wished for better fruits from our unconventional partnership. The works hanging in our gallery are quite rightly authenticated. The place will be as miserable as here soon. What's happening in Ansberg? And that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure p positions than yours would do desperate things to be in the good graces of the mayor and to use an Americanism. I feel I still have Van some a great place to rethink your life. Shush. I feel I have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. So that's okay. Uh, uh, as before, come to the back of the mayoral mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you, your friend, Henry Lemieux. Okay. Thanks, Mister. I need somewhere to sleep. Inspect menu. I need a bath. Inspect menu. I need to rent a room. Desperately. I need a bath. Okay, in here. Want some help? No, thanks. Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Oh, 
Ooh. I push B. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Oh, god damn it. Oh. Where's my room? I know it's upstairs, but... Okay, wait, let me just do it again. God. How annoying. Uh, it kills me that Arthur's eyes are so bloodshot. I don't like it. You want some help in here? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Well, give a shot if you change your mind. I don't like seeing him like this. He's got such beautiful blue-green eyes. I know! <laughs> this whole playthrough is just me like lusting after Arthur. <laughs> Come on though! How could you not? He's gorgeous! And he's funny! And he's charming! He's like his mannerisms and everything. Oh, it's already daytime. Oh my god. Okay, just rest. You need to sleep because you're sick. Fence is not open anyway, so that's the main reason why I needed to come here besides the mail. Oh, we could actually... We've, no, no, no. We have s probably a lot of journal entries to read. Okay. Somehow got myself involved in the charming business of saint -Denis culture. The mayor, who knew we robbed him a while back, invited me over to his mansion again. Strange man. Nice and awful. Cynical and caring. Wants to make his city thrive. Doesn't seem to care how he goes about it. Threatened me in order to make me threaten some art professor on his behalf. Why? So the art professor will verify that a bunch of paintings ain't the forgeries he believes. They are the genuine article he thinks they aren't, 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 in order to fill the people with joy that they are looking at a real work of genius. Um, not a good copy of a work of not a good copy of a work of genius yes i was pretty confused by the whole thing but i did as i was bid to do and the professor changed his mind once he saw that i would be happy to turn his mind into nothingness I went to an art gallery, seems fine and fancy, living ain't quite so different from life in the wilderness seems fine and fancy living ain't quite so different Okay, from life in the wilderness. Robbing stagecoaches was an ex... Okay, I'm not reading this sentence correctly. Seems fine and fancy living ain't quite so different from life in the wilderness. Robbing stagecoaches was an exhibition of paintings by the artist I met a couple of times. Charles something or other. French fella. Seems he'd been doing more than painting his models. Mm -hmm. um, their husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd been taken taking with his subject matter. Whole thing descended into a brawl. Had to help him escape. Seems those of us who thought Angela Bronte was a lizard in a suit was right, and them as thought he uh, was right, and them as thought he was a gentleman thief eager to help us on our merry way was wrong. Bastard sent us into a trap in town, told us to rob a trolley station. No money, 
but the entire police force was waiting for us dutch nearly died lenny fought real hard the kid is good in a fight and saved us dutch is planning some big escape for all of us some grand master plan everything we are attempting here seems trouble i hope we can get out of here alive right now it don't seem likely dutch is raging about bronte's deception or betrayal or whatever quite or whatever quite it was dutch don't like being made a fool of even micah with all his teasing and needling plays it real cool with dutch i would not want to be bronte right now i cannot see dutch letting this pass when to teach angelo angelo bronte a lesson taught him something i guess taught him alligators have a nasty way about them dutch is torn between his dreams of escape and his need to prove something or other i don't quite know what not sure he does want us to make one last big haul of cash then flee for tahiti retire and become farmers where the hell is tahiti i guess they don't have pinkertons there at least all them years we dreamed of being ranchers out in virgin lands in the west now it's bananas and coconuts and long boat rides get anywhere the train can get to the law can get to dutch probably has it right this country really don't want folk like us no more from ocean to ocean place is going to law abiding and dissent and dulled and rigid until folks have frozen themselves into nothingness the people in this town are worse and more desperate than the nasties the nastiest gunslinger i have met they shoot you in the back and make you pay wow my accent is like slowly changing i mean normally i would say nasty and now i'm saying nasty okay for your own funeral they throw shit on for your own funeral they throw shit on you for sport they walk past the loss and starving like they can't see them keep feeling sick but I'm sure it's nothing. This damn swamp, it ain't natural. Oh, I'm creating words. <sighs> Adio, Bronte. No snakes. These pages were reserved for snakes. <laughs> Hosea Lenny, my lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything, the bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed, Lenny got shot in the head, Marson got himself arrested and is awaiting trial. We fled, leapt on a ship, sailed to a, into a storm, the ship sank. Whole thing, whole thing like a dream, like a fool's nightmare. I survived that and being lost at sea. Oh god, by the time we finish reading this, the fence is going to be closed. And got washed ashore on an island called Gram Grama. Whatever Tahiti, whatever Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Grama. Some nasty bastard name of Fusa had the people by the throat, and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn army. Javier nearly died. I nearly got killed. Met some real decent folk, folk, brave folk living in a land of hell we got a boat out of there just about after some real nasty fighting don't think i met many folk deserved killing more than that piece of shit fusa upon returning found the folk reget again at least them as a upon returning found the folk again at least them as ain't dead okay but within a few hours the pinkertons had found all of us o old agent milton wants us all dead and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape not sure what happened next the whole thing has been hard on all of us most of all on dutch who seems half crazed uh by by all we gone through Oh, Hosea. Uh, found Charles the next. Found Charles the artist dressed as a street walker, trying to flee from assorted men he offended, fleeing to the South Seas. One if I'll 
see him there. Turns out I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me. All them horses threw me. All them fights and it was beating up that pathetic little fella down that killed me. Oh, so he acknowledges it. So he knows who it was. And that's how we would find out if we didn't know it was Downs. He's the only man I've been near was real sick. He begged for mercy and I beat the bastard and he died. And now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk... And that nun, Down's widow, Abigail, Mary. Dutch, when I first knew him, Hosea, my dead pa, and no good bastard, the whole crowd of people. What kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? And what world is this we live in? A land of fury or a land of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past any kind of saving? Is that all fairy tales? Man ain't got much good in in him. I ain't got no good in me. I don't think, and yet I see goodness. I see it, if not in me, in good folk. In Abigail and her love for Jack. In that silly monk, in Downs, I guess. Begging, not for himself, but for the poor. Even though he was near starving himself. Oh yeah, so in that mission when we go to Valentine for the first time and we get into that fight, it was Downs who was in the corner of that street um, trying to raise money for charity. Uh, maybe I don't want salvation. Part of me has always longed for death. Well, here it comes, I suppose. Chanterelles. This is really dark. Found a raving lunatic, completely raving, took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Some kind of village, Alda, Obadiah, maybe, um, maybe appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense, weird place, something not right at all. I think we're going to be going back. Okay, that's it. Okay... Okay, I think the lighting looks better now. Mm. Come in, come in, hello. Hi, you're the fans, right? I can sell you a bunch of okay. stuff. What have you got? Uh, not that. Not that. I don't think I want to sell that. I can sell you that. Now what's this? Found sitting on a bench somewhere, I suppose. I think I need the silver story. chain bracelet. Whatever you found, this is your business, not mine. Right. Exactly. Silver. Wow, I've got ten of those. Hmm. Platinum don't earring. Need to know where you got I this. don't think I need a platinum earring. <laughs> Just came across this somewhere, huh? But then I can, if I sell it to him, he can craft me the stuff. I don't know if I want. One hundred and fifty-five dollars. He made it seem like that that pocket watch, that watch was going to be super, super valuable. Very nice, this. I'm sure the previous owners prefer that I look after it now. Okay. Uh, do I... If I have it on me, can I craft it or can I... Do I have to sell it to him? Craft? Oh, sure. I'll make a lucky wee piece for you. Gold jointed bracelet. Be oh, okay. There, I can make it. Quartz legendary bear 
Okay, yay. What does it do? Tell you Permanently what, decrease the right this. And I can even craft you a wee trinket. On nice. the side, that is. On the side, gold earring. <gasps> Did I sell all the gold earring? <gasps> I have the gold earring! Did I sell it? No! Oh my god. I had gold earring. I had a few of them. Um, abalone shell a few fragments. Years to build up this stock. Oh, yes. I think I know where to get that. Crap, I'm so annoyed. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Sure, let's take a look then. No, damn it. I sold it. I won't ask too many questions about its previous ownership. Well, that's kind of annoying. Alright. Let's go... Oh, I was meant to pay for my bounties. Hey, mister. You're back. I have more mail. Letter from Charles Chatonet. Oh, shame. He thought of us. Whoa, that's a long letter. Mon chéri ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vahin. Vai vahin. Oh. <laughs> like vagina. Vahin in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Sudden. I'm guessing dream of Van Horn being the trading post of the future is well and truly dead. Okay, shush. I feel like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark dreary days are you did not ask for anything you only gave how perfect how rare i detest selfish asses more than civilization itself what is civilization really but organized selfishness i must person in this town god let's put that light on uh, where am I? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Pa! No mercy. Merci. This island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but the people here are the most generous in ways I am not put into words I have met. Where are you? Um, why is this? Because Those they are free. I have never a man out cold, take his watch for the trouble. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always your CC. Oh. Hey, Bounty. Let's make that messy past go away right here. I only have a five dollar bounty. What? Thank you. Really? That seems not right at all. Okay. For the longest time now, we've just been reading a journal. All right, boy. All right, boy. We are coming here. All right, boy. Let's keep the vomit out. Should we need it for a rabbit or a squirrel? All right, boy. God, the Turkmen is gorgeous. I think it l looks the best with Arthur. Especially the way I'm dressed. Yeah. But I know it's... Which is weird because it's a war horse. But it's not the bravest horse. 
I had some issues. I've had some issues with it. Hello? No, there was another one. It's gone. Yeah. Wait. Ha ha ha! Perfect rabbit. Wait, do I need to return the pelt or do I need to give them? Nope. Hmm. Track all gang triggers? Treasures? What? I have that. Poison tree. Oh, wildlife art exhibition. Home robbery. Oh, yeah, yeah, that we haven't done yet. Oh, but die. Tasks. Oh. Um. Hmm. This is it. Perfect. Oh, we need the carcass. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's let's quickly go to Van Horn. No, fuck. No, Arthur! Get off, get off, get off. Don't stomp on that horse. Let's quickly go mail it because it's going to start rotting and then it's not going to be perfect anymore. Boy. Who is yeah. this person who's creating the wildlife? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I even going in the right direction? Okay, let's just go to Ansberg. Annasburg. To me, it's Ansberg. Okay, so... Well, you certainly stand out dressed like that. That area over there is off limits to you! Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. Fine haul there. Levi's crop short again. Wonder what I'll say this time. Levi. Oh, hello again. Why can't I send mail? If you wouldn't mind coughing in your sleeve, sir, I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request, is all. Why can't I send the mail? Oh, do I have to find them in all before I can mail them? Howdy. I think that's what I have to do. Damn it. I cannot purchase transient while carrying something. Hello. And I can't send something. You just left. You alright? Yeah, I think I need to go get the squirrel. Let me just make sure. Perfect squirrel. Okay. Um. You have a good one. Okay, so I have to find that thing pretty quickly before this thing starts rotting. Have a nice 
ready. Let's go, boy. Um, okay, so let's... I don't know. Go running around here. Hopefully find a squirrel. Never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. Hey, move it! Squirrel? Surely you will just pop out of some way along the way and like you normally do or not because now I actually want you and you're just like oh we used to be hiding Oh god, just watch. A mountain lion's gonna pop out of somewhere. Is it a bear? Why the... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm out here hunting squirrel. Okay, we're here. Whoa, easy. Oh, there he is. This was supposed to be our little adventure. Widow? <laughs> oh, wait, you're somewhat different. Uh, all we need is each other. You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> Well, it makes no difference now if if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation. Well, we came out here from the city in search of a different life, something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic <laughs> Arthur can relate what a pair of fools is there a train station or a town I can take you to no I can't give up now he wouldn't want that I, I can't have it I'm gonna do this for you Cal 
Well, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a oh. natural at finding those. Oh no, he ate the poisonous berry. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? Poison berries. Oh. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, uh... there it is. I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I... I, I don't even have... There. Look. Grab it. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Oh! Oh. Okay, Got you're it. up. Oh! Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. Yep. How do I... I mean... You pick it up? What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Easy breezy. Lemon squeezy, apparently. Just rip it through its asshole. I don't think this is how it works in real life, though. I'm sure you have to make some kind of incision first. Or do you... Oh, oh do, you, do you really pull it from his ass? <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. Do you know how to make I a think fire? I've seen enough blood for one day. No, no, no. Do you sit back now. Sure, I'll walk you back. Um, you did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Where are we going, by the oh, way? Oh yes, at least. Thank you so much. You haven't even learned I mean, how to hunt. This really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. Where are I have we? No doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Oh. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. No. This is the couple that... <gasps> oh no! Oh no. my god. We're done for now. No, we're not. Oh my god! Fuck my life. You nearly died, woman, and you didn't even oh run. God. You see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. 
Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. I think this is the home robbery I was supposed to do. This is the sevens or something home robbery I was meant to do. Yeah, he spoke of a couple and I think we're on the right place for the map. He spoke about a couple with money that moved here. Yeah. This is the couple. Oh my gosh, I don't want to rob them now. Oh no! Um, I'm not gonna just invite myself inside. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the homestead I'm supposed to rob. Oh, that's awful. I'll show you. Uh, no, no, no. Is it... Tap? No. Tap? Yeah, 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 this one. Um... Oh, it's not here. Oh, is it because of my honor? If I had low honor, I could rob the homestead because it was a homestead tip to rob that I got from helping a prisoner. And now I don't rob them. I help her. I think it's because of my honor lever. It must be. It must be. Okay, let us go um, to Dragic. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, well, damn it. We're still looking for that squirrel. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Because I don't think she's got a lot of money now to be honest. Come on, boy. Um Eat it. Okay, um I really wanna find the squirrel. I think the rabbit is starting to rot. Hopefully I'll come across a squirrel. It's kinda hoping we could send them piecemeal. Nope. Nope. Those are turkeys. What's that? California. Coyotes! Not turkeys.
Squirrels? Please make yourself known. Oh, that's a skunk. Moose? Elk? Tennessee Wonka. Let's just kill two in case. That's not perfect. Do not! Whatever you're what in the hell? Do not ruin my squirrel. Oh, asshole. Oh, you wanna live in a pine box, do you? Oh, that sucks. I didn't you better thank God. shoot them properly. Okay, boy. Normally if I just right. like eat this. Oh! You dick! <laughs> What the fuck did I do to you, asshole? Oh, really? I just like... How do I turn around? Oh my god! Fucking dick! I'm just trying to hunt squirrels. Okay, actually, let's go back into the woods. Maybe I need to use a bow and arrow. But you see, the last time when I shot the rabbit, ah, uh, and it was perfect. I didn't need to like do perfect aiming. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Now this thing is gone. The only other thing is Dutch. Okay, well we're gonna continue trying to find a squirrel. Until Dragic comes back. was a rabbit I saw not no, I can't find it am I going even in the right direction Oh. 
See, because I want to... Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to see... I just shot it. I didn't shoot it in the head. Yeah, and it's still perfect. So... Theoretically... For the squirrel, it should be the same thing. I don't trust it that the other rabbit carcass is okay. Okay, wait, let's move down here. Ooh. Okay, so we're looking for squirrels. Mind your own. I don't need your trouble. Oh, was that it? It like frog thing? Wait. That is not a good sign. What's that? What's that? It's a frog. Nope. Run it! Oh, I think this gun was like too much for it. Oh, I just said rodent. What are you? A western chipmunk. Aww. Okay, now I feel bad. I killed a chipmunk. Burdock root. What does this help with? I don't know what it does. Okay, I'm s struggling to find a squirrel. Which totally sucks. Ducks. American tree sparrow. Are they... Mm. Ah, oh, okay, okay. That sucks. I might just have to give up. Tragic is gone. Okay, so let's go. Damn it. We might not even have time. Okay, you know what? For the rest of this video, I'm sorry if it's going to be really boring, but I'm literally just going to yeah. ride around and find a squirrel. <laughs> We won't, I don't think we have time to do another mission and Marco Dragic is not triggering so we will just 
Look for squirrels. What are these? Mushrooms? Chantarals? I don't really have time for this, but okay. God, Alan will be coming home soon, so he's going to scare the crap out of me. This lighting is making me look very tanned. Or oh, it's this camera. Mm. Nope. Yep. Just appear if you run around randomly to the woods. <gasps> Here, piggy, piggy. What happened? Oh, my God, I think they're coming. Oh my god, is that... Was <sighs> oh, that a bear? Okay, squirrel. I need you. This rabbit needs you because... Yeah. Another perfect one. Should we need it? <laughs> I'm just killing every perfect one we come across because I'm scared it's going to start rotting. Why is it so difficult to find squirrels? Please be perfect. Fuck, I think I need to do a bow and arrow. <sighs> yeah, I think I need a bow and arrow for squirrels. I might. I think I'm going to actually end it off here, friends, and then I'm going to go look for this squirrel on my own. Damn, because we might be here for a while. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching, friends. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.